Hello everybody, it's Jamie from the Amana Transmissions and I'm standing out here at sunset, so it's getting a little dark. But it is June 12th, it's new moon tonight, and in, well, just a few hours we're going to have a solar eclipse that's going on with our new moon tonight. And that's really powerful. It's one of the reasons I wanted to kick off this transmission for you because we are officially in eclipse season. <laughs> it's not enough that we have amazing amounts of solar flares going on right now and that is just pushing the light through all the shadows of our own experience in the collective as well as in this world. Have you noticed shadows coming to light? There's a lot going on politically, economically, all kinds of things, but most importantly it's going on inside of us. The internal shifts as we're going from our carbon base to our crystalline base in our ascension journey is getting pretty remarkable. We have all kinds of cosmic events that are pushing us as we're lined up with photon center of the universe and the photon light a galactic center is just moving through us so much, especially this month and as we get into the Lion's Gate of August 8th. Uh, back to that Lion's Gate again. We're on all of the eclipses, all the full moons, the super moons, red moons. We're in that time again of year where it's non-stop. So this is the highest evolutionary time of the year as far as I'm concerned. We have the highest opportunity to choose within us that we want to make our biggest shifts about right now and we have lots of support from all of the galactics, planetary, astrological, heavenly stuff to help us move stuff more easily. It can be a little intense if we're resistance, but if we're willing to go into this and choose wisely and set our intentions to move it forward, call up the hurting aspects of ourselves, go through our memory banks and call forth from our subconscious the parts of ourselves that want to come to the light most right now. These may be some lost aspects of ourselves that are stuck still on some other timelines in some traumas and dramas from other lifetimes or parallel experiences out there if you're into that. Um, we're, we have many aspects of our soul that it's happening at once. This is Jamie here right now and you are who you are right now but we have a lot of us as we're part of the infinite creation. Many aspects of our soul incarnated in different aspects of our individuality experiencing the everythingness that's going on that the human experience or the soul's experience can possibly have. But on Earth right now, where it's ascension time and we're starting to live multidimensionally to connect with the rest of us that's living all over the place in a lot of other aspects, it's time now to start clearing up in ourselves what's really in the way that's keeping us stuck in a 3D or third dimensional experience where we believe the duality to be real versus is the absolute of the creation that we're born from. There's an absolute greater reality in which we can have instant manifestations and experience the love, joy, peace, oneness that's really the truth of our being. We're just remembering that in a planet that's about physicality and duality. So we came here to do that so let's move forward. I'm inviting you to join me this Eclipse season is what I'm going to call it as we go into the Lion's Gate in August and then we're going to be culminating with another massive eclipse that happens at the end of August. That's sort of the um, period at the dot of the sentence for the last eclipse we had last summer, you know, where people gathered all around the world to watch the power of that eclipse. The shadow of that is moving through at the end of August from everything that I'm hearing. So we get to go full circle within a year. Okay, so what I want to do now is just remind you all, continue to tune in to these little broadcasts and newsletters and um, you can, I'll, I'll notify you by either YouTube, mosquitoes are having a really good time at sunset here, I'm in South Carolina right now, <laughs> mosquitoes love it here too. Anyway, um, continue to look for the YouTube channels, you can subscribe here on YouTube or um, by continuing to be a part of my newsletter, which you can get to by going to theamanatransmissions.com and you can sign up there and you'll get a little newsletter too that sends out some support. So sometimes once a month, sometimes quarterly, it depends on when the transmissions are coming into me bring forward. Okay. So speaking of transmissions, I do work with Divine Feminine Transmissions called the Amana Transmissions. I work with the Heart of Mother to bring healing light light language, which is a heart language that is brought in through my guidance teams 
and brought in at the highest place where my soul meets God at the level of the divine feminine. So I open to all that loving Sophia, wonderful Mother Mary energy, and I allow them to bring the language of Mother through me as a light language, um, where I use my hands to bring encodements in and activations and downloads. And I will use that language. Some of you have tuned into these broadcasts before and heard that, but if not, this will be your first experience. So welcome. So let's go ahead and call in the heart of the mother and allow this transmission of channeling and information to come through. Ialakta yishia koto ai ziki to ala mana ziki to ala hello my darling ones it has been a while since we've gathered in this way but it's time again for the eclipses here are pushing the light more and more ushia kiatala through the places of dark that have been forgotten in time je ki to ala iktia shamana that heaven is helping us now to bring in light transmissions encodements geometries light frequency sounds and tones open your heart for the good news and the glory of this day you are a child of light and a child of delight your wings are coming out and shaking off the densities of the past. Oh, Mother is showing me that the eclipses are here to be a catalyst to help us move things within our being known and unknown that are tired and want to come home. The Holy Family and the Company of Heaven are assisting us in this process. Our soul, our I Am Presence, is alive, standing up and taking command in us at this time. Call forth our I Am Presence to stand up every day and assist us in our ascension process and take command, bringing forward that from the shadows which would like the light. It's time now. Everything is coming home to the light. Here comes a healing blessing transmission now. You are so loved. All of heaven loves you. I love you. Love yourself and spread that love on to others. Enjoy this time of the eclipses. Get out there and celebrate. Continue to stay tuned with these um, eclipse broadcasts that I'm bringing to you here. And uh, the next broadcast that I'm going to create will be one to help us clear resistance from the conscious as well as our subconscious uh, banks <laughs> so that we can be more receptive for receiving the healing transmissions that are coming to us Wow, in the light encodements that we're just breathing in now. If we set our intention every day to absorb the highest of our ascension frequencies, um, intentions, consciously every day call that in and to help clear any resistances that may be in the body or in your mental, emotional fields or traumas from past lives that have mistrusted God or mistrusted our human experience, this next transmission that I bring to you will be about clearing the resistance. So be looking for that one coming up next. Uh, 
love you. Thanks for joining.